Uh, hello everyone so in this tutorial we'll be learning how to create a stacked bar chart in plotly and initially we'll create a very basic chart then we'll customize it uh, to make it uh, look even better so let's start with importing libraries we'll be importing majorly two libraries here uh, one is plotly to create the visualizations and the second one is pandas which is will be used to handle the data frame and so let's get started so initially we'll be declaring the data frame as you can see here so our data only has like uh, 12 rows in three columns and one column is numeric which is sales and we have two other columns which are categorical which you can see here is country and category so these are categorical then we have sales which is a numerical column so let us get started and create a very basic stacked bar chart so here is what it looks like so we'll mention four things here so if you might have noticed that uh, in case of a simple bar chart we were mentioning only these three things but here when we also mention mention this element called color it'll create the chart uh, it, it, it'll basically create the chart in a stacked fashion right so this is the most basic bar chart so what i'll try to do is you can see that it's very spread out so i don't want it to be as spread out as this much so i'll adjust the width and the height by adding these two attributes and once i do that so you will notice that the uh, width of the chart has decreased as compared to before so now what i'll do is i'll also squeeze the bar width a bit by adding this statement where i mentioned the width equal to 0 0.5 so once i mention uh, if i mean uh, so once i mention it as 0 0.5 so it'll uh, basically it'll what it'll do is it'll make the gaps between each of these bars equidistant which would be actually equal to the width of the bar right so this uh, the bar japan is equal to the width of here uh, in the gap uh, which is equal to the width of this bar and so on right so moving on i'll also add uh, data levels to my chart that we can simply do it by using this attribute which is text underscore auto equal to true and as soon as i write that what the uh, what python would do is it will auto sense and plot these data labels at the top of each of these bars and this is the beauty of plotly that if there is a color which is sort of dark which we can see here so it will make the colors of the text according to the color of the bar so as you can see here that uh, here the color is blue which is quite dark so it will make the text of this data label white and uh, the other data labels they are black uh, ju just for better visibility and better readability so the next next thing that i'll do is uh, i'll adjust the uh, i'll adjust the ticks of the y axis so as we see here these are known as ticks so earlier they didn't have a comma in between so what i'll try to do is i'll try to add uh, like two comma and then the three zeros so we can simply do that by this attribute where we mention y underscore y axis underscore tick format and as soon as i write this it will basically add a comma after the uh, uh, in the thousand values and uh, write the access sticks in that manner so this is simply being done with the help of this uh, statement update layout and then y ticks uh, y access tick format equal to comma okay so the next thing that we'll add is a uh, chart title and we can do that simply by uh, like within the same fig dot update layout uh, statement we'll add these two attributes the first is the text title and then is the title x this title x is nothing but the position of this title so if we write it as 0 0.5 it will uh, the title would come at the center the next thing that i want to do is i want to change the colors i don't want the colors to be these these default colors but uh, i want a way where i can define these colors according to what i feel so what we need to do is we would need to actually provide this particular statement uh, which is a color discrete map and then here we have categories and then uh, like the various categories which we had is here and then these are colors so for these colors you can simply search like uh, what sort of colors is supported by uh, by plotly python and then 
you can get the names for those these colors and then just mention these colors if you have like multiple categories so uh, looking at this you would get to know that i'm sort uh, i'm trying to uh, create sort of a bluish and greenish theme so i've used these particular colors for my discrete map and then plotted my chart so this lo looks better like than what we had earlier so the final thing that i'll be doing is changing the theme of my chart and how i plan to do that is just for illustrative purposes here uh, i've uh, i have these seven themes which i'll be showing but uh, to to use just one you can just uh, add this attribute in the picks dot bar where you mention template equal to template element and this this template element would be nothing but the theme that you want to choose right so here just for the purpose of illustrations and to just show you how all the themes look like i've like created a for loop so what you can do is so i'll just show you all uh, each of the themes one by one and let's just pick one theme so this is the theme that you might have seen in thumbnail thumbnail which is actually plotly dark and accordingly there are these other themes as well but the one that i liked uh, the most was plotly dark so we'll just use that as a our final theme uh, so that was all for this video thank you guys for watching